Today I'm gonna to build a flat with a door opening. So I thought I'd show you how, uh, how we do this. Uh, it is pretty similar to the way that we normally frame all of our flats. Just a few minor changes, some shorter toggles, that kind of thing. So you can see this is basically how we frame a normal flat. We'll put uh, uh, rail on top and bottom, and then we'll have the, uh, the three studs going down. The only difference between this and what we're gonna to do today with the door opening is I've made some marks and we're going to add another stud for the edges of where the door opening is going to be. So you got one there, you add one right in here. It's going to have a top header piece that goes across here and then it'll have several little toggles that go down the side. Since I'm going to add a three foot door, what I did is I, starting from the center of this rail, went each way and gave myself a marking at uh, three foot. Okay, then since I'm going to add a frame for the door that's going to be a little bit deeper, like a 1x6 or something, it's going to um, going to go right here. So when I frame my wall, I'm going to actually go another 3 quarters in, and that's where the stud is going to get nailed into place. I cut the two studs down to the height I want my door, and then I mark the positions of all the toggles before I attach the studs to the bottom rim. Next, I cut the header to go across the top of the door studs. I will also need a short piece for the center stud that will go above the header. I add the two toggles across the top that are at the 8 foot center mark. Now to cut and install all the short toggles that live on the sides of the door opening. Once I finish the framing, it's time to attach the quarter inch ply. I use lots of glue and I make sure all the edges are flush. I make sure I staple the plywood to all the studs within the center of the wall. Now to cut out the door. First, I drill a half inch hole through the Luon against the inside edge of the frame door for the flush trim router bit to drop through. I carefully cut staying against the framing so that I can use the cutout piece as my door later. After cutting out the door, I go around and sand all the edges and file the rounded corners square. All right, now that the flat's all finished, now I'm gonna start working on the door frame. For that, I'm gonna use some one by six. And once I get this finished, I'm gonna attach the piece of Luan that I cut out as the door itself. All right, so I have all my one by six all cut down, and I'm gonna use this for the door jam. Now, just so you know, I did rip it in the table saw just to kind of make it a little more narrower, but you don't have to do that. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put each piece in my door opening and I'm going to make it flush with the outside edge. I'm going to do the bottom first and then the top and then I'll shove my sides in there and, uh, and, then, and then nail everything into place using glue. Adding a recessed door or window is a great way to make your facade look realistic and really add some dimension to it. Once the door jam is finished, you can go back and hang the door by mounting hinges to the side. But for this project, the door just needs to look believable and not function. I'm adding support bracing to the back to hold the Luan secure. We need this to look like a flat, heavy-duty steel door. 
but you can add trim or decorative strips to the door to jazz it up if needed. The piece of luon that I cut out earlier needs to be trimmed down to fit in the jam. A quick way to do this is to clamp the piece to the edge of the flat and make sure the edge of the wall is lined up with my marked cut lines, then I use a router with a flush trim bit. I use a circular saw to rip down the side edge. Once the door has been painted, I'll go back and add details like door stop, trim, and the doorknob. I wipe away all the glue, sand the edges, and now it's ready for paint.